Hi everyone, it's John aka Smelly Telly and I'm coming to you from our video room here in uh, More Music in Evansville, Indiana. And today I'm going to be talking about this guitar, which is the Fender American Ultra Telecaster. The finish is Texas T, and I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I'm sure we have pictures of it. Um, it's not black. You may think it's black, but you can see the green in it, which is pretty cool, especially I'm holding it at this angle. It's really cool. <clears throat> so it's the Ultra, which means it plays really fantastic. It's got features specifically for that. Uh, if we start from the head all the way down, you can see on the back, We've got the locking tuners. Uh, the neck is a modern D, which is, to me, it's a little bit on the thinner side. Other people, it's probably just perfect. I'm used to a no caster, which is pretty huge, but it's not the thinnest, and it's definitely not the thickest. I'd say it's probably just about right. It does have the uh, satin finish on the neck, by the way, too. Uh, fretboard is uh, rosewood, and it has the compound radius, which is starts at 10 and gradually ends up at 14 so it's getting flatter as you go up the fretboard and that makes it a little bit more comfortable for playing especially bending you know um, 10 10 down here feels awesome um, this bend right here it's pretty tough to do on my vintage style uh, no caster not too bad on a 10 inch radius though and then up here it's flatter so it's like there's not even strings there. It's so easy. All right, uh, medium jumbo frets. Um, and then let's see, down here, we're guessing on this. We think it's brushed aluminum. There's not a speck anywhere that says it's not plastic though. You can feel it's metal. So we're gonna guess it's, it's brushed something. We think probably aluminum. Uh, let's see, the contours on the back. So you can see it's got the belly cut like a Strat does, which is, does, it makes it much more comfortable. But you can also see we have a contour here at the heel. So it makes the upper frets a lot easier to get up to. Electronics, you know, at first glance, it's a telly. Uh, we've got a single coil down here at the bridge. We've got a single coil up at the neck, typical standard telly setup three-way selector, but what's different though is you have the S1 system, and it, which doesn't affect either position one or position three on their own. It's in position two. Without it pressed in, it's just regular, it's parallel. You press it in, it puts it in, puts it in series, which gives it a little bit more beefiness. I'll go back and forth. I'm trying to hit my I'm trying to hit the strings softer actually when I put it in series if there's a big volume difference coming through your headphones or speaker or whatever it's there is there's a big volume difference that's pretty beefy I like it so let's run through a couple of the tones I'm on the bridge pickup has that typical telly thing. And then in the middle. Series. Oh, I already played that a little bit, didn't I? come back to the series with a little bit of gain on the amp too. And neck pickup. And speaking of pickups, they're noiseless. I can prove it. I don't hear a thing. No, nah, you don't get that hum, right? With the single coils, if you're near lights or your computer or something, you get that kind of nasty hum. These, you don't get it. They're the noiseless pickups, which is pretty nice. You know, early days of noiseless, the complaint was the tone wasn't quite there, but the, the tone is there. Let's put a little bit of grind on the amp and see how it sounds. 
We've, uh, by the way, today we're plugged into the Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50. I think it's set to the 25 watts. I'm running the volume pretty low because that's just, I'm older and I like to be as quiet as possible. And other lies you'll hear me say. Tellies can rock, just so you know. I'm going to come up to uh, the middle position and go ahead and activate the S1 so that we're in series now. Not too shabby. You can hear when you go back to parallel kind of anemic compared to, you know, when it's in series. Both nice. I think I like it better in, uh, in series. And then we got to try the neck while we're here. It's a player, that's for sure. Hey everyone, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is the Fender American Ultra Telecaster in uh, Texas T. And if you're interested in this guitar or any guitars, uh, you just all you have to do is go to moreguitars.com or you can call More Music in Evansville, Indiana and ask for any of the wonderful salespeople and they will hook you up. And thank you and I'll see you next time.